Hello everyone. Uh, today, as you can see on my screen, I'm going to talk about Revit and Dynamo, uh, which is kind of the equivalent of a Grasshopper plugin for, for Rhino. Um, so what I want to talk about today is a tool that I was working on, a uh, script that I was working on for Revit, uh, that lets you automatically uh, number doors and windows. I'm going to talk about that later, but first doors based on what room they swing into. So basically I've set out a couple of rules uh, for how I want those doors to be numbered. Um, so let's zoom in into one of the door tags. Um, so first of all I built a D prefix for all the doors as you can see. That's built into the tag itself. So I want, I want all the doors to get that so I'm not messing around with this. Uh, the rest of it, the number and a letter suffix is something that's going to come from whatever room number the door is swinging into. So if the door is swinging into a waiting area with the room number 101, I want that door to get 101 and then if it's if it's the only door in that room, it will get A. If there's more doors, like for example if this door was swinging in here, then one of those will be A, the other one will be B. Um, so this, this is one of the rules. Another rule was if the door swings out into a space that doesn't have a room, like an exterior, then it would get the number assigned from the room that it's swinging from. So there was one exception, and then another exception that I built into uh, it is for circulation spaces. So I actually filtered for doors that swing into any space that's named CIRC circulation, which is an abbreviation for circulation, and then uh, if that door was swinging into that space, but on the other side of that door was a regular room, which was not named circulation, uh, I actually wanted it to get that number. Uh, but between corridor doors, like this one when it swings into circulation, but on the other side is another circulation space. Um, I didn't really care which one it gets, I just kept the rule, if it swings into circulation, give it the other one. Um, so these were the rules that I've set up. Uh, for the doors, let's. Uh, this is a tag, um, but let's uh, let's erase all of them really quickly, so I can actually demonstrate. Uh, how the system works? Well, how the script works. Alright, that looks like it's all of them, and then just to make it more interesting. give this a weird number. Uh, okay, so we have our rooms. Rooms have numbers. I'm not touching room numbers. And then we have uh, all the doors and we want to get them numbered automatically. So on the, on the Dynamo side, I'm filtering for all the doors by category. And it doesn't care what level it is. This is a global. It will grab the whole project. Uh, I mean all the doors in the project. And then I'm using Andy's uh, custom node to collect families. This is based on category and this is something you can find on package manager. And then this name is a corresponding to what rooms I want to circulate to apply that rule uh, so that it flips it so it doesn't use to room but from room, the other side actually. So circulation and then over here I'm using another one of uh, custom nodes that you can find on a package manager, set list instance parameters, that's probably from Andy's as well, but uh, it collects all the doors and changes the mark value parameter on them. Um, so let's run this and you can see on my Revit site all, all the tags change their numbers and you can see right away some of the rules that I've set up. So doors that swings out into the space it actually gets a number here. And then these doors get numbers of the room that they swing into A, B. Uh, the rule for whichever it gets A or B, the order in which it is assigned, it's something that I'm still working on. Right now it's the order of creation. And what I mean by that is that if I was to add another door here, um, this is the last door created, so it gets the highest ID number assigned to it, uh, the latest ID number assigned to it, and that's the number that uh, so this door is going to get C because it's the last one. So this was created first, this was created second, this was created last. And what 
what I think is kind of I need to figure this thing, this thing out still but uh, if I run the script you can start seeing that they become kind of out of order so I really want it to be kind of clockwise uh, ordered but uh, that's something that I still have to work through um, so once we have that um, I'm going to show you really quickly how we can do windows so uh, let's switch back over here um, that's just a different view and here's windows right so let's tag those um, tag those real quickly and for windows I don't want to exclude any circulation I don't want to create filters for circulation so for windows I'm just going to type in none into my filter and I'm going to select I'm going to change the type of stuff that I'm filtering for and I'm going to look for windows um, once I have that basically the windows uh, are going to follow the exact same rules what room they're in uh, what room they're swinging into because both windows and doors have to and from arrow direction and that's something that you have to build into the family for this to work um, so what happens is that if I was to flip this just because it's on the exterior nothing, hap nothing happens here but for a, for a window that has both rooms on each side if I flip this right now it picks up the office 203 uh, I just flipped it to 202 so it's going to pick up the number from the circulation space so that's just the rule that I have with windows um, but yeah there it is uh, room and window numbering tool uh, created with Dynamo uh, API there's a little of, uh, custom node that I have to create for this in Python um, uh, and a couple of custom nodes that you have to download from the package manager and it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna keep working on trying to get the sorting uh, clockwise sorting for individual rooms in and I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for listening and uh, remember to check out my Twitter Archilab uh, and check out my blog at archilab.net um, you can find all the information in the, on my YouTube channel. Alright, thanks for tuning in.